The ABCA Video Tip of the Week is presented by Volleyball Training Solutions, an educational resource and interactive website for volleyball coaches, and brought to you by the ABCA. Samantha Bricio, sophomore outside hitter for the Southern Cal Trojans, is currently leading the country in service aces. She also averages 2.03 on a four-point efficiency scale, which means that when she's not serving aces, she is forcing teams out of system quite a bit. In this video, we will examine Samantha's serve mechanics. As you can see, she serves a jump serve that goes between a spin serve and a hybrid, but the constant being a serve with very high velocity. We placed a clock to record the time it takes for the ball to go from Samantha's hand to the forearms of the passer. As you can see, this time is about 0.7 seconds. If you assume it takes approximately 0.2 seconds for the passer to see and react to the ball, this means the passer has about 0.4 seconds to move to the ball and make a good pass. So serving accuracy is not unimportant. However, serve velocity, I believe, is more important. We will look at some of the keys that allow Samantha to put good velocity on her serve. As much as possible, we want the serving motion to replicate the attack in terms of footwork, arm swing, and contact point. The only difference between Samantha's serve and her attack is she puts in one extra step, so she has a five-step approach. So Samantha's normal footwork for her attack is a four-step right-left, right-left pattern. So here we see she's on her second step or right foot and she's starting to initiate the normal footwork as she would if she were actually attacking the ball off of a set. Now on her left foot with a forward lean, arms drop comfortably in front of her. She would be in the same posture at this point of attack which would be the second step of a four-step approach. When attacking, we want to go from small steps to big steps, slow to fast. As you can see, as Samantha goes into her last two steps to the ball, they're long as she gathers speed to take her into her jump. By turning her toe to be parallel with the inline, Samantha accomplishes two things. First, she's able to transfer her horizontal momentum into a vertical lift, and secondly, she opens her hips to begin the rotational part of the arm swing. This is the position you want your players to be in the air. At the peak of her jump, you can see the elbow is drawn back, opening the hips and shoulders to the ball, and she also has an inverted C with her upper body. So she'll have a tremendous amount of upper body rotation and core flexion into the serve, producing great force into the ball. Same position, just from a different camera angle. And you'll notice how the elbow is drawn way back. And look at all the rotation that she's going to get as she brings her arm through into the ball contact area. Now you can see how the elbow has rotated up to the ball from the elbow back position. So the elbow has gone from a low position to a high position, which is exactly what you want. It's extremely important for players to understand the concept of rotating the elbow from the back position where the hips and shoulders are open and now you rotate it up to the ceiling. So as you can see here in this different camera angle, how the elbow is literally pointing to the ceiling and then she'll throw her hand up to the ball facilitating a high contact. So as you can see here, the contact is with full extension in front of the hitting shoulder the opposite arm is drawn forcefully to the body midline, which is extremely critical in terms of staying tall on contact. Same thing, different camera angle. Nice high contact in front of the shoulder and also in front of the body. So her toss has taken her into the court, high contact, and she'll drive her hand forcefully through the ball. So in closing, we want to emphasize a couple key items to the jump serve. First, toss high enough that will allow your footwork to be an attack approach. Allow your toss to take you into the court. Arm swing is elbow back, lots of upper body rotation, and high contact.